Hello AACPS staff and welcome back to our continuing video tutorials on using timeline mode here in WeVideo. In this video we're going to start talking about adding audio to a video project you're creating in timeline mode. So you'll see we left off with that text box clip added there in video track 2. We have that grassy field that reminds us of spring there in video track number 1. So we've got that layered video that we've been talking about in some of the previous. And in that third position down there you'll see a space to add audio track number one. So let's start talking about our options for audio. Well first you have the exact same options here in timeline mode that you had in storyboard mode and those were the ability to record your own audio as well as the abil ability to add some of the stock audio, those music clips, soundtracks, things like that that WeVideo has available for us as subscribers. But neither one of those two options are going to be in the same place that they were when we were in uh, the storyboard mode. I do not see that microphone icon or that musical note icon in the lower left hand corner where I accessed them in storyboard mode. And instead here in timeline mode I'm going to get those features from my menu up here across the top. So let's start with how to do a recording. When I click on my media this is the same place that I had the ability to record video using my desktop or webcam. Right next to it I have the ability to narrate. When I click on the narrate option it takes me to the exact same window we saw when we did this recording in storyboard mode. I've got the big microphone to click on when I'm ready. I can select preview while recording so I can make sure that I'm lining up my audio and video. Click it gives me the countdown just like we expect and now it's recording everything that I'm saying until I click stop. Then I can accept my audio and then what it's going to do is it's not actually going to place this in audio track number one. This can be a little bit confusing because you're like, wait a minute, what happened to my audio? But what it actually do, did was add a new audio track underneath called voiceover and it has placed my audio there. So now if I click play, expect, and now it's recording every... I get the video in track two layered over the video in track one with the audio now appearing down in voiceover line one here. So if I don't need this audio I can click on this little snowman icon here and I can just delete this track so that it's not there at all or if I would like to I can add another option for audio there. So just so we don't get too much going on in uh, this video, I'm going to go ahead and delete this voiceover and let's talk about the option to use uh, WeVideo's stock audio footage. That again is going to be done in the menu here when you're working in timeline mode. So when I click on audio here, I have the folders for WeVideo's music, their sound effects, and even what they call premium music. I can click to play. Any of these clips that I would like, when I find one that I like the sound of, what I'm going to do is drag that down to the line that says Audio 1 and click Play. But notice that I also have this little speaker icon here. So if I feel that the music is a little bit too loud or too soft for the theme that I'm going for, I can drag this down or up to make the music softer or louder. Notice where it's began there at that 75%, that little white tick mark there, tells you that that is usually what they recommend for their audio, but this is your project after all. So you can choose whatever sound level um, you believe fits best with the project that you you're creating. Now when I click play it's a little bit softer, a little bit easier to uh, think and pay attention to other things instead of having that audio really take over there. Alright, once again I'm going to go ahead and delete this track for now and let's talk about your additional option that you have when you're working here in timeline mode and that is the ability to import your own audio. So I'm going to do that by going back to my media and choosing my import. I happen to have a free sound effects file that I just downloaded off of a website that I'm going to use for this example and it's here on my Google Drive so I'm going to click on this, select it, 
And then what it's going to do is it's going to add this to my My Media area in the upper left. Once it's done processing, I can click and I can drag that down and drop it into the audio area and click play to see and listen to the sound effects that I have made there. And once again, I have the ability to change the audio level to make it louder or quieter as I see appropriate for my project. So three ways to get your audio in, uh, recording your own using that narration feature, which adds the uh, additional voiceover audio track line down there. I have the ability to use WeVideo's stock audio, their music, as well as some of their sound effects but I can also just import in my own music, my own sound effects, anything that I can get in an mp3 format could be brought in and added to that audio track layer down there. So in future videos we're going to get to talking about how to layer audio but now you have the understanding of how to just add audio.